just working on this farm old Briggs again here. Uh, one thing I'll point out, uh, toothbrush comes in handy. For some reason the exhaust on this is very corroded. The threads are uh, really bad and uh, I find uh, just a used toothbrush uh, can come in handy for these engines. Uh, getting uh, cobwebs out of the flywheel, things like that. Now, the threads there are still all gunged up. So, uh, I don't ha have a three-quarter inch pipe tap. Uh, they're fairly expensive. I got to half inch and smaller, but not three-quarters. So, uh, I made one out of a piece, uh, basically a three-quarter inch pipe nipple. Uh, just uh, dremeling in uh, slots into it. Uh, I have a better one than this for half inch, but uh, anyway, it uh, the slots are there to allow the uh, grunge to come out like a normal... Uh, tap does. So you screw it in there a bunch of times and take a toothbrush or compressed air blow out the threads and uh, eventually I have another one here it's longer I can get a better grip on it. Uh, I'd recommend cutting more slots than this on three quarter inch. I got about five in this one. I'd put uh, six or eight of them in there. Uh, more, uh, more cleaning ability and just uh, take your time with it there and uh, it'll uh, it'll clean the carbon and corrosion out of the threads. Uh, just be, you know, be as gentle with it as you can since it's not made of uh, tool steel like a regular uh, tap is. Plus you're just dealing with aluminum threads too. So uh, anyway, that's just uh, just my uh, suggestion there, or uh, you know, a homemade uh, three-quarter inch. Uh, pipe tap uh, in effect there help you clean out the exhaust threads and these uh, Briggs and Stratton's with the uh, three-quarter inch uh, pipe in the exhaust